Hey guys, what's going on? So I didn't get a uh, spray in the other day on my front lawn because the wind was just started picking up and got really out of control. Today I'm going to do a little bit of spraying in my backyard in uh, I guess it was my short cut area or my low cut area. I sprayed it the other day with some a new uh, plant growth regulator. I think I added a little bit of uh, 01818 from Simple Lawn Solutions uh, just to try and bring uh, bring some root growth and some some vitality to the grass plants and we're gonna spray some poa constrictor uh, yeah for you guys that aren't aware of poa constrictor it's a little bit hard to find right now not not terribly hard to find but it's just not really readily available where the active ingredient is ethofumicate which as most of you guys know is known to kill poa annua so I'm going to uh, get my stuff ready and uh, we'll get to work. So stay tuned. Let's go. I got Poa Constrictor Ethofumicate at one ounce per gallon per thousand square feet. Now to offset any damage, discoloration or uh, negative effect on the turf, I'm going to add four ounces of Simple Lawn Solutions. Uh, it's a 600 with 5% iron. Simple Lawn Solutions Lawn Booster. Stuff works great. Four ounces per gallon per thousand of Simple Lawn Solutions Lawn Booster with iron. Let's get going. This is the tip I'm using. It's a T-Jet TVP5, I believe it is, but it uh, sprays a really nice stream, consistent stream wide, um, and you can keep it close to the ground. Uh, it's a 110 degree angle, and it sprays at about one gallon per thousand, um, walking at about three miles per hour. guys so that was it man this tip sprayed beautifully I don't know if you could see the uh, the fan on it but it was it's a great great tip for this uh, you can keep it fairly low to the ground and uh, still get really good wide coverage all right so one more spray for the day just uh, for good measure my yard has horrendous pH problems when I just did the re my renovation I did a soil test on it prior to doing anything to it and my pH came back at 5.3. That's in spite of me putting down pounds on top of pounds per thousand of lime every season, usually in the spring and the fall. The last soil test I did in a relatively cared for area, the pH was down around a 6.2. So I still want to bring that up a little. I'd like to get it up around 6.8 to 7. I don't want to load it down with dolomitic lime. So I found a product that I'm going to give a try. And I'm going to try it in that same area where I just sprayed. 
and that product is CalFlow liquid limestone. That stuff goes down at about one cup per 600 square feet. So that's eight ounces per 600 square feet. I've got right around 1200 square feet there, but I'm gonna double that application to try and bring that, uh, that pH level up a little quicker. Uh, the longevity on that, it's about eight to 12 weeks. It'll maintain your pH level and then you'll have to do another application. We're gonna put that uh, 32 ounces in two gallons of water. I'm gonna take the uh, option of doing two paths to get this spread evenly and completely and empty this tank out. Just about got it. Looks like I got it covered pretty well. Got a little bit of extra in the in this area down there. So guys, thanks for watching Mostly Green. If you like my content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.